Gary. Um, John McGinn has been named in the next Scotland under 21 squad for the game against Hungary. What are your thoughts on the young midfielder's call up? Yeah, I'm delighted for him. I say he's been a bit up and down um, season so far. I say over the last number of weeks, he's certainly shown the consistency in the form that he showed um, last season. I say hopefully he can drive us on. I say the good fortune of John's call up. I'm disappointed that Jason um, Naismith's not made the squad because I feel his, his performances probably throughout the season have merited it. Last Saturday's loss at Kilmarnock was a bit of a heartbreaker after the effort that the players had put in. What did you do to pick up their heads this week as you prepared for St Johnson game? It was easy to get the heads down. See, we put a lot of effort into the game, and unfortunately, we just lost a goal in the last two minutes. But I say the positives I took from the game were the chances we created. So it was an easy one to look over the video, um, tag the video, and show the chances and the opportunities that we had. And then a given day, we go and take one of them, and then we go and win again. No suspensions tomorrow. Any injuries ahead of Saturday? Yeah, injury wise, no. So you hopefully have a, a part of Isaac Osborne who obviously went under went the anchor operation, so hopefully a fully fit squad to choose from. So on Saturday, we face a wounded St Johnston side who lost last week, like ourselves. What are your thoughts on the Perth Saints and what type of game are you expecting on Saturday afternoon? Expecting a really difficult game. Yeah, anytime you go up to Perth, it's always a difficult game. And St Johnston are a side that year in, year out, say they're there or thereabouts for the top six. We say it'd be a club you look to try and go and emulate, but say we've got to go up there, positive frame of mind, hopefully we can go and get three points. There was a good turnout of fans at Rugby Park on last Saturday, almost a thousand there. What is your message ahead of Saturday's game for those hitting the road again this week to Perth? The fans have been excellent. I say thanks again for the turnout and the numbers it had last week. Hopefully we can go and replicate that for Perth tomorrow and we can come give them something to come back down the road in a positive frame of mind with three points closer to where we want to be away from the bottom of the league. That's great. Good luck, guys.